Church, I am so honored to be joining the devotional team with you today and sharing what God's put on my heart. But first of all, I want to say I miss you all. I know we're doing church online nowadays, but there's just something about meeting together corporately in the worship center and experiencing the presence of God together in one room. But I know that God's working through our online church and our uh, online worship services. Today's topic for my devotional is called, Because He Lives, I Can Have Bold Faith. And I want to start off by telling you a story. For the longest time in my life, God's put this dream in my heart to write music, specifically worship music. And I knew I was going to do it one day. Uh, But the road to writing music has not been short. It's been a long one. I've tried so many times. I've done it with different people. I tried to put something out there, but I was always crippled by fear right before actually releasing it or putting it out. Um, And the thoughts of, you're not good enough. Who do you think you are? Why would you be the one to put out um, this song or this music or whatever it is? And I never got to do it. And not too long ago, and you know this, we've put out our first album as a church called Father of Hope. And that was a huge moment for me in my life. Because that road, even the moment I, I knew the Lord was saying, look, we need to write a song for the church, the fear almost intensified. And I had to work through massive doubt in my life to actually complete this project. And every day was a struggle that I had to step out in bold faith, in discipline, sometimes just thinking, why am I even doing this? The hardship, the hurdles that I had to overcome to do it, um, it was just, it was just, it's like, why am I even doing this? But we got through it. We got through it and we wrote an album and this is it. The finished product. The story of what God's doing in our church. The story of so many people being a part of this project because I stepped out in faith. I want to reference some scripture for you guys. 2 Timothy 1.7 says this, For God has not given us a spirit of fear and timidity, but of power, love, and self-discipline. Boy, was that true. Power, love, and self-discipline. I had to understand that I have the power of Christ in me, and I have the love of Christ in me. And I had to use self-discipline every step of the way, inch by inch, to get to the result that God was calling me to. Fear always comes against us when we face something new. And that scripture basically says that fear is not from the Lord. It's from the enemy. The enemy wants to instill fear into you so that you don't move so that you don't do anything, so you, you, just, you just stand still. And God is calling us for great things, to do great things in His name. Another scripture that stood out to me was Joshua 1.9. And this is when Joshua is leading God's people into the promised land. Um, and this is what the Lord says to him. This is my command. Be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid or discouraged. For the Lord your God is with you wherever you go. See, God knew that fear was going to creep in because that is how the enemy functions. He uses fear to, to instill doubt, to discourage you. And this is why God's saying, this is my command. I'm not even asking you. I'm commanding you, 
Be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid and discouraged. I am with you. The same resurrection power that rose Jesus from the grave is in you and me. And we can be bold in our faith knowing that he is always with us. He will never leave us nor forsake us. God can't work through fear. He works through faith. And God wants to do an amazing work in your life, but it's going to take bold faith. So today I want to encourage you, follow your dreams that God's put in your heart and step out in bold faith so that you can see the fruit of what God wants to do in your life. Today there's a lot of unknown. There's a lot of uncertainty. And it takes faith to do what God's called us to do. I love you, church. I hope you guys stay connected with us. I hope that you're staying connected with us on Sundays, that you are encouraged by what our church is putting out. Um, But our church is doing this to encourage you, to remind you of God's power and His faithfulness. Step out in faith today, in bold faith, and be courageous. Love you all.